Tyrannosaurus, however, have managed to colonize these polar regions. In the far north of America, this tiny hunter, a dromaeosaur, has managed to survive three months of near total darkness. And now, at last, spring has come. She has a coat of feathers, for she's able to generate heat in her body and needs to retain all she can. A challenge for all dinosaurs in these cold latitudes. As she moves quickly over the surface of the snow, she checks on the places where she has found food in the past. In this icy world, no opportunity is too small to be ignored. And to succeed, as usual, you need good timing. Although at this time in Earth's history, the polar regions are relatively warm, these lands are nonetheless ruled by extreme seasonal change. When the sun rises for the first time in almost three months, every animal must be ready to make the most of the daylight and the warmer days that are to come. The little dromaeosaurs must work together if they are to take on big prey. And here comes their first chance of the season. A herd of hadrosaurs. These duck-billed dinosaurs pass through here every year. Nomads in search of the fresh vegetation brought by the spring. They're huge. The only chance the dromaeosaurs will have is to work as a team. <laughs> 